and welcome. Today I have a Lazy Boy rocker recliner. It's a powered unit. It's a popular model. It has a feature where both the footrest and the back tilt will happen simultaneously or you can control them separately. Some of these units have hand controls and some have buttons that perform the same functions. I've done a number of repairs on these particular chairs due to mechanism damage and it's usually based on user error. They're not using the chair properly. So I thought I'd do this quick video to try to save some of you who may have this model a repair bill. So basically what's happening is this is a rocker recliner. So if you try to open or close this chair when it's pitched forward, it's going to strike the floor and that can cause mechanism damage. So the first rule is to stay back in the chair when opening or closing to avoid the footrest from striking the floor. The second th thing that's very common is people will not know when the footrest is completely closed because to see if it's closed or not you're actually leaning forward in the chair to look down you're pitching forward and again the footrest can strike the floor and some people cannot hear when they're holding the button to close the chair when the motor stops working which will only happen when the footrest is completely closed. So they kind of have to guess when it's okay to get out of the chair. And as a result, sometimes they get it wrong. The footrest is still part way open. They don't see that from sitting back in the chair. And they go to get out of the chair. And again, they lean forward. The footrest strikes the floor. So we've had to come up with some creative ways to get particularly elderly customers to be aware of when their footrest is closed and it's safe to get out of their chair without doing damage. One is, if you have a mirror that you can place somewhere across the room so that you can see when the footrest is closed, that's pretty, pretty easy. It's a no-brainer. Another one that a customer and I came up with was she has particularly bad hearing, and so there's no way she could rely on the sound of the motor. So we had to count how long it took for her footrest from the fully open position to close, and we came up with seven seconds. So she started using a count of 1,001, 1,002, and when she got to seven, she knew it was safe to close her chair and then get out. This may seem like a small thing, but I've had customers where I've done repeat repairs, and sometimes it can include broken lift motors and other expensive parts. It can get kind of pricey. So again, to repeat, stay back in the chair when opening and closing, of course, make sure there are no obstructions behind the footrest when closing as well. And then, make sure the footrest is completely closed before exiting the chair to avoid any damage. So I hope those tips help you if you have a powered Lazy Boy Rocker Recliner. Thanks for watching. See you next time.